comes um, the ability to get cancer really easy. So bladder cancer is very common. Okay? Transitional cell carcinoma is very common. Now, you have a circular sphincter of muscles around the neck of the bladder. Okay? You have voluntary control over the external sphincter of your urethra. You also have an internal sphincter. There's two, just like at Uranus, okay? So when you get that York peppermint patty sensation, that's the inside opening up saying, time to go. And this is where your parents beat you into submission at the toilet of not to let go of your external uh, urinary sphincter. Uh, of your urethra and you hold it until you do go. Okay? You have voluntary control over urination only to a point. At some point you will fatigue and you will urinate. So if the Romans didn't like you, they <coughs> killed you in some horrible way, they either crucified you or they took a pole with a stick and stuck it up your butt and let it slowly go through your body till it got to the inside of your skull when you died. If they liked you, they tied a rope around your dinky and it made you drink wine until you died. So. Well, that way you go. Better than uh, the stick. Yeah. I can't imagine the sensation of that. Okay. Every time your heart beats, blood moves around your circulatory system and blood gets squirting into your, um, your glomerulus and you um, make urine. Okay? Your bladder, hey, don't you guys, you guys have had that picture, haven't you? Yeah, yeah I must have had that picture for a long time because I took it and uh, I erased everything and I put numbers on it. Yeah, I, I remember somebody uh, <coughs> calling those things something that they shouldn't. <coughs> okay, so when you pee, and of course it's like a female usually squatting, or sometimes when a male gets old, my dog Rocco, well, that's where he urinates now, like a girl. So, uh, urinary accumulation, then your bladder, it constricts, right? <coughs> this is a weird system of your nerves because usually things in the parasympathetic makes things relax, right? Makes your heart go down, makes your uh, pupils go back to normal, relaxes your bronchioles. But the parasympathetic system, um, also makes your muscle contract so you can pee. So it makes the sphincter relax, but it, but something that the trussle muscle has to be constricted. So pressure has to be put on the bladder. So you know how it is, right? You're sitting in the bathroom, um, you're in Walmart, you got four disgusting stalls, and you put like eight layers of toilet paper and you're sitting there, and every time you're about ready to go, somebody opens the door and it bangs, boom! And then you, can't go. Everything just locks up, right? Lady goes in the stall, you can't see her, and she's like, oh, it's coming out of me like lava! And then she leaves. As soon as that door closes, you can go again. Strange how fast that system works. Uh, urine accumulation, the bladder constantly accumulates urine. Stretch receptors are going to be activated. That pressure um, gets a certain trigger point, and then you get muscle contraction, okay? Motor impulse sent to the detrusor, just like I said, smooth muscle and the bladder contracts and the bladder empties um, if the animal's not housebroken. If he's, if he's been beaten into submission like you were as a child, and given the lollipops for not peeing your diapers anymore and sitting on the toilet. Look, mommy, I'm a big kid now. <laughs> then they don't pee. Voluntary control of that external sphincter around the bladder off is temporary, and I exemplify that, temporary. 
The fuller the bladder, the more pressure you get. And it happens in waves. Same thing on the other side when you have to take a dump. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everybody knows what it's like when you have to go to the bathroom and you're in the car driving, right? It's like, it's like whoa, oh, you get past it and then your muscles, your smooth muscles contract and you probably get about two minutes before it happens again. You gotta try running the house before you uh, have an accident. Okay, anatomy, pretty simple. Two kidneys, two ureters, one bladder, um, one urethra. Now, in the female, the uh, uterus and the urethra go into one exit. Okay? So, in males, um, urine and sperm production come out of the same system. One day. Like I said, females shorter, straighter, more um, easier to get an infection with. Okay? Male, longer curved, runs along the ventral aspect of the penis, lines of transitional epithelium, which allows it to expand. Okay? <coughs> like I just said, the female urethra <coughs> is strictly urinary, and the male is both urinary and reproductive, carries both urine and semen, or semen. <coughs> So, you ready? Who's got any good uh, urinary system jokes? If you're an American, when you go into the bathroom, what are you while you're in there? You're in trouble. European. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that's good. European. Yeah. Should I start the quarter? Yes.